Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool M&M animated telephone, and this is Bill's telephone from Colorado. And so basically, Bill has a note here, and he's talking about how the telephone works, like the animation and everything, but you cannot dial out. And this is the initial checkout of this telephone, and we have the batteries removed, and there's a mode switch in the back, off, and then the buzzer, meaning it just rings by the piezo buzzer, or animation. And since uh, the batteries are out because we are troubleshooting this telephone, uh, we just have it over on the piezo buzzer mode. And so uh, Bill is correct, it does not dial out, and we're going to go ahead and uh, ring the telephone. We'll let that go a couple times. I'll let it go one more time. I want to give you some dial tone. And so basically what happens here is I'm going to go ahead and dial a number. Now, sometimes when you pick up this telephone and take it off hook, it will dial one of the numbers just once. And there it did. If you see the analyzer, I dialed a 2 and it hit it. But now I'm going to try to dial any of the numbers. I'm going to hit redial, flash. Nothing seems to work past that. I want to check modulation. It has no modulation or it has none at this time. Let's see what it does when I pick it up again. There's dial tone. Very little modulation if you see. But we have dial tone. So we have a major issue here. Uh, there's some components or something on the main PC board uh, causing some trouble here. And I want to go ahead and try to dial a number again. I'll dial a six. But that's the only time it dials. So nothing else will dial. I'll hang up. Now I'm going to hit the 6 a bunch of times and see what happens. It hit it twice that time. We'll dial a 2 and I'll keep hitting it. But after that, it just does nothing. We'll try our transmit again. There's supposed to be a red light on that analyzer that's uh, lighting up as I transmit, as I modulate. And it's not doing that. So this telephone has some very serious problems and uh, we're going to have to troubleshoot the main PC board. I want to go ahead and unplug the line to it and I want to show you the inside of one of these if you've never seen the inside. We have our main PC board loose here, and this is what we're going to be troubleshooting. We have to troubleshoot this board and find out what's going on and why that we don't dial our numbers, but maybe once or twice, and then that's it. And then you have to hang up and reset everything and try to get them to dial. But it's not going to fly, so what we need to do is troubleshoot it and uh, we're going to take a short break. This kind of gives you a look at what this board looks like. And we'll be troubleshooting. So uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we're going to show you a little bit about what's going on here with uh, the telephone. We've troubleshooted the main PC board. And right in this area, I have installed another diode that we found that was bad. And we also found a transistor over on the main PC that was bad. And I'll give you a look at them. There's our transistor. And there's our diode. Now I want to go ahead and check this diode. I'll show you. If you watch the meter, on this diode we should get a reading one way, but not the other. And so that diode is shorted. It's 
got continuity both ways and it's not supposed to have continuity both ways so that's a couple of components and so basically probably what happened to this telephone was it was surged and uh, that's the type of damage that it has and so it was probably surged in the telephone line and that's what caused our problem now earlier in the video if you remember we barely had any transmit and our volume was not that loud on the receive side and we have a high and low volume switch here and so uh, as soon as we got our diode and transistor replaced our uh, receive and transmit came back and so did our dialing so I'm going to go ahead and plug in the telephone and as you can hear you can hear that from here now it's nice and loud and then what I want to do is I want to flip the switch and go to low and then come back to high and our transmit is back if you watch that red light on the analyzer that's a nice clear signal now on transmit so it's showing a hundred percent modulation on transmit when that light is To it anyway if we could even find the IC uh, we may be able to track one down we may not so uh, not having the flash option is not really a big deal but compared to what could have happened 
so what we want to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and unplug the telephone and I'm going to start putting everything back together again so we can do all of our final checks and we want to go through the animation and, and just do all of our final checks and uh, we'll get our phone back together here and I'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up in the repair of this telephone so we're going to go ahead and do our final checks and there's a switch back here in the back that uh, has the buzzer option, in other words the piezo buzzer on a ring cycle and you can turn it off and there's the other option where it's in animation mode so basically you can turn the switch off or have it in the buzzer mode or have it in the animation mode right now we have it in the buzzer mode and I have the switch that's underneath the unit in the high level setting for the uh, piezo buzzer to ring on high. So we'll go ahead and ring the telephone. We're going to let that go a few times. We'll let it go one more time. want to go ahead and give you some dial tone. Now we also have the handset on the receive side there's a low and a high setting we have it in the high setting now these are our components that were bad and there's no sense in hanging on to them they're no good so we'll go ahead and throw them away anyway now what we can do is take the telephone and move it over to the animation and I will press the demo button and we'll uh, go through the demo. Hold all my calls. Don't look at me. It's your phone. Hey, I always wait for the third rank. Hey man, if you want to be cool, wait for the third rank. Okay is how you get to the demo of the unit. Now what we want to do is I want to go ahead and ring the telephone and it'll go into the animation mode while it's ringing. Hold all my calls. Don't look at me. It's your phone. And the analyzer is sending right. ring cycles. I always went for the third ring. Hey man, if you want to be cool, Wait for the third ring. Last chance, honey. I'm waiting. Hey, it's for you. We'll go ahead and answer the telephone. Give you some dial tone. Now we want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers go by. I'm going to end in a two. I want to do that one more time. I want to hang up. Who are you calling, sugar? Charge it to Eminem. Quiet, please. End in a two. I'm going to hang up. Who are you calling, sugar? Charge it to Eminem. Quiet, please. I'm going to hit redial. The analyzer will end in the two. And it did. Now what we want to do is I want to transmit into the handset. And like we were talking about earlier, every time you see that red light on the analyzer while I'm transmitting, that's 100% modulation on transmit. So we know that this telephone has receive, transmit, it's ringing in on the buzzer side, it's also ringing in on the animation side and that's working and our dial is dialing out. What we can do now is I have a button here on my switch box and if I push that button that gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer away from the situation and I'll go ahead and call a time and temp number. Who are you calling, sugar? Charge it to Eminem. Quiet, please. Give you some dial tone. Good evening. Offenberg St. Clair Auto Mall with five new car lines at one location. 
Nation and O'Fallon. Offenberg.com. Today is Tuesday, June 18th. The time is 6.03. Current temperature, 95 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Clearing skies tonight, lows in the mid-60s, mostly sunny Wednesday, a high in the mid-80s. Okay. We can call one other number. We'll call my number, and it'll be busy. Who are you calling, Susan? Charge it to Eminem. Quiet, please. Give you some dial tone. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Bill and he can start enjoying this telephone again. It's a very collectible M&M animated telephone and they're really cool. Uh, everybody that has walked in the shop has basically wanted this telephone, but uh, you know that happens quite often here when we have walk-in customers. Uh, they'll see what I'm working on and uh, they'll try to uh, buy it. <laughs> But basically, I'm sure Bill wants his telephone, and I'm sure he's going to have a lot of fun with this. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.